Greetings, everyone. <clears throat> it's Baba Will coming at you once again. And this topic is about irresponsible fathers. Um, irresponsible fathers. I, you know, it's the. I remember when I was a child. I remember when I was a child. I'm a man of a certain age, and I can remember as a child witnessing dysfunctional families. I mean, I'm also my family. We we struggled also, but um, and we you know we overcame our struggles. But I remember witnessing a lot of broken homes and what I mean by broken I mean single parent households you know and men who chose who chose to live freely and what I mean by that you know they sort of absolve themselves of becoming responsible responsible fathers and it's it, it, it creates that creates a problem on several levels. Um, you know, this is an issue that uh, you know it's been talked about for a very long time. I'm not an expert on you know social norms and per se or family values, but I, I what I can say is I'm an expert in my own life and in how I see and view things. Um, with regards to you know certain specific issues, not fathers who are who choose to be distant or absent from the home, and I'm saying who choose, who made that free will, who exercise their free will to choose to ignore, to abandon their child's mothers and their children. You know, there's a hefty cost to that. There's a hefty price that's paid for that, you know. And then, you know, it affects, not only does it affect, believe it or not, the man himself, but it directly affects the children and directly affects the children's mother, you know, where you have this series of breakdowns, this series of disrupt disruption in the family unit, it, it's it's unreal. You know, children growing up without responsible fathers, children growing up lost, Ch children growing up misguided, children growing up without any hope because a woman can do but so much in raising a home. A woman can do but so much in raising men in raising young boys in a home they could only do but so much they took two people to join to create you as necessary as that is is as necessary it is to keep the family unit together as this is just my ideas my opinion you don't have to agree with them and it really doesn't matter to me either way but not having that man home and the men who are irresponsible the men who willfully choose to disappear to run away to shirk their responsibilities it says a lot it says a lot about your disrespect for yourself your disrespect for your children your disrespect for the mother of your children your disrespect all around for your community you know everything becomes a thing about you and your selfish need you know when you live in certain communities or, you know, there's certain cities, well, I'm, I'm not going to speak on many multiple cities, but there are programs, governmental programs that single mothers are afforded and are entitled to receive simply because they are single parents. They can receive housing. They can receive medical care. They can receive food stamps. They can receive a series of services 
simply because the father is not home. Now, what is that telling you? What, what, I mean, what is that? How does that even translate? It, it almost seems as if, you know, this is something that's encouraged. And what I mean by something that's encouraged, I mean the break, the breakup of the family is somewhat encouraged by certain powers that be. And men allow it. Men allow it, you know. Men allow it. Either they disappear, either they get locked up in jail, incarcerated, freedom gone, or, you know, they're just running, running in the community, running the streets, having children left and right, you know, engaging in criminal activities, just having no hope or, or not placing in the, in the, themselves in a position where they can produce, where they can invest, where they can become self-sufficient to help their families. That, you know, some, it, this is not regarding all men. I'm, this is specifically to irresponsible fathers, irresponsible men who, instead of being focused, instead of having a plan to put their specific selfish needs aside, and work on something that's going to benefit their children and their, their wives or their girlfriends, or baby mothers, whatever you want to call it, the family unit, that structure, instead of putting their individual needs aside and creating an opportunity where it can benefit their, their unit, their family, you have individuals who get caught up in different social ills and they willfully Continue to get be caught up in social ills, all types of social problems, drugs, homelessness, crimes, poverty. The list goes on. The list goes on. And some pride themselves on being parents, but being absent fathers, absentee fathers, and complain about certain <laughs> institutional programs that are exist that exist to force you to take care of your children, i.e. child support enforcement. You complain about child support. <laughs> you complain about mothers having all the power, or single mothers and women having all this power, but you haven't reclaimed your own power. You haven't reclaimed what, what you, you, your own stance ap appropriately to make a real difference. You're distant. You're distant. Many are in and out of jail. Many choose to live the illegal life. Many choose to blame others and not take responsibility, not take onus, or hold themselves accountable for what they're not doing. It's, it's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's a sad state of affairs. And this is not something that's going to change today or tomorrow or next year. These are examples of, of, of that are taking place of what you, you know, men, responsible young men, do not want to become. When you're a father, you have to sacrifice. <laughs> You have to make sacrifices. Some people choose not to. Then you have other problems, other breakdowns in a family unit, like abuse, substance abuse, physical abuse, domestic violence that takes place. You know, if people want to control others, men want to control and, and inflict abuse on women. And, and in some cases, men are the ones who are the victims, you know, in certain cases. But when, when, when you have a lack of onus or a lack of you know, responsibility, you're going to have a breakdown. It's evident. You're going to have a breakdown. And who suffers in the end? Who? 
The children, the young people, they suffer. They have to learn and deal with the trauma. They have to be the ones to develop their own coping mechanisms when they grow and develop and become hopefully law-abiding and productive citizens in the Western world. How we sow our seeds, you know, what we do, how we plant, how we water our plants and sow our seeds and, and make sure that, you know, we create or we take care of our of our babies and take care of our families and take care of ourselves, you know, that 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 definitely shapes the type and nature of a of, 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 of future that you would like. Visualization is very important. Visualizing what you want and creating, creating, creating somewhat of a, a, a film in your head to see what you want and applying the right techniques to make sure these things come to life by taking care of yourself, rearing your children properly, being present in the lives of your children makes a difference. When you're absent, that makes a difference too. So this is a message to the irresponsible fathers. You know, I'm no one. Who am I? I'm just a, 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 another human being among seven billion on this planet. You know, but I... If I can impart something, a word or two of encouragement, then that's what I'm going to do to inspire some change, to inspire some effective change, positive changes. That's my, that's my contributions for right now. Those are my thoughts on Irresponsible Father. This is a broad topic, can't be covered in one whole day. It's a broad topic, but this is some of the issues that you know, I wanted to share on YouTube. Like and subscribe to my videos. Be well. Until next time.